Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Jason, Leon, and Pierre here. Um, we're here to um, talk a little bit about New Era. So, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Pierre, take it away. Listen, man, New Era's been kind of like um, hit or miss on their collections. Right? I mean, that's fair to say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it's fair to say. I mean, we had some <laughs> that missed that are like a few years off, right? You got the Travis Scott lookalikes. Screen, you get like yeah. you get like the butterfly ones that were a felt knockoff that created some controversy. I don't mm-hmm. know. You got gosh, hey. stuff. To be honest, we've been a lot more missed than hit. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. But the just caps sort of series have been okay. I've been I'd say better than okay. Yeah. I like the first series. I like the first series. Mm-hmm. The second series was a little white. It was, it was, but you know, I was still able to pick up one or two. I picked up a couple too. I accidentally mm-hmm. picked up a couple of sevens as well. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Blackjack, <clears throat> Blackjack. Yeah, I'll show you guys that a little, a uh, little Pierre error. So I got no. this one. I got this one. Uh huh. And I got the Cubs, and they're all size mm-hmm. seven. Oh, oh, oh you added them to the cart too quick. I screwed up, man. It yeah. happens from time to time. I'm getting old. But this third iteration to me is just fantastic. Mm-hmm. Absolutely fantastic. So I went in on these. So I said, we got to do a video on these because I just think it's like, I know, Jason, you're you're really um, a fan of, of the Series 1s, right? The Just Cap, the Just Caps 1. Yep. Yep, with the, the pink and pink and blue metallics on front. That was good stuff. Yeah, they're, they're great as well. Mm-hmm. There's something about these that I just I like. Now, a lot of people didn't like certain aspects of these. And I'm going to show off. I got one, two, three, four, five. There's one that, aspect in particular that got people all in a bunch. I, I don't I don't get it. Like right. <laughs> listen, I, I just want to put this out there, right? If Hat Club dropped these right now, people would have went bananas. Yeah. They would have already- went Right? Mm-hmm. They would have went nuts. Absolutely. You guys want to see some of these? Just look. Yeah. Let's start here. Like the one I got on my head. Start Angles here. Brown. That's a good one. So these unwritten rules of like tonal, tonal um new era, like you got the eyelids can't be a different color. You can't have any contrast stitching. Like shut up! Like you want, like you need something different every now and then, and these are different. You got that Vegas gold crown, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. You went with like just the original colors on both the side patches and the front logos. You went with green unders, white guts. I mean, a flat batter, man. These things. Come on, man. What? How do people not appreciate this hat? I don't understand it. I don't get yeah, it. I I got a few. I got a few reasons probably, but uh, I'll, I'll let those rest. I think. Look at yeah. This. Like, People always want something to complain about, or if if they can get it in abundance, then they don't want it. They want something they can't have, you know. Trying mm-hmm. to figure out a reason what, what not to like it. More for me, okay. <laughs> More for me. <laughs> at the end of the day, the this is a good set. This is a good good set of hats. Yeah. Look, wearable giants. Mm. Oh, yeah, look at look at that all star game patch. It looks like a picture. I the, the colors are vivid. It looks great on Vegas on Vegas Gold. Yeah, it's smart to green leave. unders. Smart hmm? to leave the colors as is. Yeah, the one I'm wearing right now might be the best one. It might be doubled up. <coughs> this thing just pops. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, everything really pops against Vegas Gold. This one's smooth. So nice. Mm-hmm. Go back at the Washington Senators. Oof. Oof. Nice and clean. A classic mm-hmm. looking hat. Look at yeah, this. The red, the red really works well off that. Jason, I know you thought the M was too big on this one, but I still think it's a great looking hat. Oh, it's a gorgeous hat. I don't know if I could carry that big of an M on my head. <laughs> Look at this. Smooth. Clean. 
Got a Mets. That patch looks good on this. Four. Yep. All star. So nice. Mariners. Double trying it. Double trying it. I love this hat. I don't know, man. Like, I, I just don't see what the why these sat for as long as they did. I just don't see it. I mean, so, some of them went fairly quickly, but I, you can still pick up quite a few of these on the website right now. Look how good these look. They're clean, classic colors. Definitely should. Oh. Uh, I, I definitely need to circle back and grab a couple. St. Louis for sure. Which ones stand out to you guys? Well, to me, I, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say the two I picked up were the the Boston and the the San Louis. Mm -hmm. uh, Boston, that's I don't know, it's like iconic B. And then uh, St. Louis, I picked up just because you don't see very many of the the Browns hats around anymore. So I, I you know jump on those whenever I chance I get. Nah, these these are great. How about you, Leon? What 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 stood out to you? Uh, St. Louis for sure. Uh, same reasons uh, Jason kind of mentioned. Like you very rarely see St. Louis Brown hats. Um, I think the brown and the orange kind of really work well with that Vegas gold. And then anything that has a really strong blue or red. Um, so, like like you guys mentioned, the Boston goes crazy. And uh, even that Seattle, um, that blue really pops off that Vegas gold. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think, yeah, like the, the blue-red really work well off that color. Um, and and for, for rarity reasons, the St. Louis Browns. Let me do a little. Let me do. Let me go from nine to one. Sure. I'll go number nine here. Yeah. I love that belt buckle. Yeah, that is kind of cool, right? Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a tough pack to 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 really rank because there's so many good ones in here. I'm gonna go Mets number eight. I think it's solid, very solid hat. I, mm -hmm. I actually like this this uh this side logo. Yeah. This fresh. We've seen it colored terribly sometimes. I'm going here next. Yeah. Mariners. Okay. I'm going Washington. Yeah, that was a good one. See that red? It's a real good pops, hat. Pops off. We're into the top five now. I'm going Cubbies. This is a nice hat, man. Oh, my God. Come on. Next up. I'm going to stray from you guys a little bit. I'm going uh, St. Louis here. I've yeah. never been a huge fan of this side patch, honestly. It's not a great it's not a great side patch, but I do, like Leon said, I love that brown and orange on that uh, Vegas gold. Number three, I'm going here. Yeah, that one works really well. Number two, what you doing? Number one is going to be Boston. Oh, I love this. That Giants logo right there, I love. I just love it, man. Their best and, always, and this side <clears throat> pass is great on this. Uh, that Giants logo is our second best one. Who do you like best? The other, the other ball? Uh, the spring training. Uh, the G? Kobe. No, the McCovey Splash. Oh, yeah, the one that uh, is kind of it's, – it's depicted a little bit in the A side little patch. bit in there, yep, a little bit. You know, the bottom left there. My number one. This is not a homer pick. You guys know I don't do homer picks when it comes to when it comes to Red Sox. I I rarely put the Red Sox hats as number one, but this is not my number one. Homer the player. red just pops off of it. That green under. This is an iconic All Star Game patch. This is just it, man. This hat is probably the cleanest, simplest, mm -hmm. and best looking the pack. And in my opinion, obviously, if you're, you know, you're gonna there's gonna be different opinions out there, but I love this hat. Overall, fantastic pack. Yeah, fantastic. I put it right up there with anything that's come out this year. I, I just think from a color – I'm talking colorway perspective. There's other packs that – but colorway-wise, this is one of them. I know a lot of people are saying uh, this is kind of like a Ty Mathis knockoff. It's not even it's close not. to the same. Nope. It's using Vegas gold. Okay. It's got – it does – they are two-tone. They do have green unders, but that's where the similarities stop because there's contrast stitching. The front logos are colorful, col colorful. Where where Ty used like kind of like a a, a white front logo, yeah. Like it's it, they're they're completely different looking caps. But um, I mean, either using, way, 
using Vegas gold on a crown is not necessarily a an idea that can't be duplicated. Like right, no, no, I, and you know what I'm saying. There's distinct differences between the yeah, two. Yeah. Like the trademark things that Ty has done with his pack has been the white front logo and commemorating yeah. the black baseball players, except for Todd Helton. Um, who's Todd Helton? Yeah, Todd Helton is the Rockies one, right? Yeah. But overall, listen, man, this pack is fantastic, man. This is great stuff, and there's still some out there to be had, I think. Yeah, yeah. and for those of you that aren't sure, don't be afraid of the contrast stitching. I mean, mm -mm. look at it. It just gives it kind of a oh, – let's, let's go back to – You're getting a different look. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's, it gives it like an old, tiny feel to it. Like, mm -hmm. I don't, know, don't be f scared of different color eyelets. <laughs> flag. I, I mean, try something new. Be the more narrow we get – as yeah. as consumers, the worst things get because Absolutely. then you're not getting all these different iterations and changes that could potentially come about. Yeah, you yeah. want to push the boundaries a little bit. You don't uh, always want the same thing. That comes out a home run. No, but mm. at least they're willing to try something different. Yeah, I mean, listen, these are well done. Uh, nice job, new era. Uh, mm -hmm. We appreciate um, the efforts here and the improvement. Honestly, I mean, this is much better. I hope there's more like this coming. Um, and less of like you know the jungle colors and I don't know completely tonal hat. That was really weird. <laughs> That's like pushing the boundaries in a really ridiculously bad way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no one wants that. They want fun. They want fun caps, not boring ones. And those were boring. <laughs> but with that, guys, thank you so much for doing this with me. Um, I appreciate it. And for all of our viewers out there, thank you for continuing to support and watch us. With that, Leon, take us away, big fella. Yeah, uh, let us know in the comments which of these uh, caps that um, are your favorite. If you pick up any you know, recently after watching this video, let us know. Uh, for Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.